Good evening, everybody. Oh, wow, what an awesome, awesome song. And I trust that each and every one of you just um, took this opportunity to worship the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and worship his holy name. Thank you so much, Robert. Indeed, that is a blessed song. I trust that you had a phenomenal week and an awesome weekend. and. Um, really um, that you are excited because our God reigns and Jesus is alive no matter no matter what the enemy wants to throw towards us our God is greater our God is stronger our God is higher than any other um, and I just give God all the glory and all the honor welcome 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 to each and every one if you are far and or if you are near, you are so welcome to join us tonight where we are going to unite in prayer. Many, many, many times I've seen um, the results of the power that there is in prayer when children of God just unite and stand in agreement and um it really warms my heart to see each and everyone here on the call. So I am here and you are here. And where we gather there, the Holy Spirit is. Um, we just give God all the glory. I want to give some feedback. Thank you for praying for Ron Ronelle's mom. Um, this is now Ronelle in Vintuk. The other Ronelle, she is a little bit, she's taking a break. She's on holiday, the one from Dubai. But Ronelle's mom, as you saw in the, the, the prayer group, she had an operation and there was a little setback, but we prayed. And miraculously, it is going so well with her. I had a very good report from her. And I want to say thank you for praying. Uh, thank you for standing in agreement. And thank you um, that your prayers also um, carried Ronelle through. I know it was a very stressful time. She's been here in Cape Town. She flew back to Vintuk on ye yesterday. But God, as I say, our God is greater. And we trust God for... Um, Ronald's mother that she will soon be on her merry way back to Namibia not that we want her to go to Namibia but she needs to be there because she's living there so thank you for all the prayers and we give God all the glory um, for all the prayers that has been answered um, so far and yes it is worth standing in agreement many times if um um a prayer request just comes through and I type it lots of times. I first have to translate it, but I and um, I just lay my hand right there, right now on the screen and say, Lord, uh, we need your intervention. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for being omnipresent. The same God that is here with me is here there. And we just see how God comes through. So glory to God. We have got quite a number of um, prayer requests tonight. I'm just going to run quickly through that. Um, one of our prayer warriors here on the call, um, that is an urgent, urgent prayer request. She needs to be out of her house on the 30th November, which is when? And she needs to move into a new house. They applied for a house in Durbanville. I didn't hear anything about it yet. So we trust God. Um, so many times I don't know how he's going to do it, but I trust where I cannot see. So we will be praying for, for that prayer request. God has got the perfect house in the perfect area just for that person and we are going to stand in agreement and say thank you God for providing hallelujah and then uh, this is really a matter of urgency because I get many many messages um, um, most of us on this call and also um, of my wider circle of friends and family are really in a serious financial predicament um, 
and financial breakthrough. We are praying every Monday, but I'm telling you, we are going to pray until the breakthrough comes and then we are going to celebrate. But the financial breakthrough requests are very, very high on the list. Um, house bonds need to be paid, has to be, be uh, was needed to be paid months ago already. Contracts need to come in. Um, there was request for people that has got contracts. We are going to pray those things loose tonight in the name of Jesus. Our brother on the call that is still awaiting the CCMA case that is taking now six months uh, too long. We trust God for the time now for breakthrough, for signs, for wonders, for miracles, for supernatural intervention with regards to finances in the name of Jesus people that has businesses on this call um they are struggling and jesus promised us a life a life um of abundance and we come against that spirit of debt and of lack in the name of jesus tonight so we are also going to pray for our businesses on the call and then um lastly i have got a prayer request um i think i did send it quickly to pastor etienne now but I have got a dear friend, um, actually a, a spiritual father to me and a dear brother in Christ that is really, really struggling um, with insomnia, cannot sleep. Even if the person takes a sleeping tablet, the rhythm is just not there to sleep. And as we know, we need our rest to recover. He's just coming out of recovery to uh, um at this moment, so we are also going to come against that spirit of sleeplessness in the name of Jesus for once and for all. And then Ingrid, I don't know if they are on the call. I just want to scan quickly here. I don't see them. I did in, though. I did invite them. Ingrid, she has also she's struggling with a severe illness. I will be going there on Wednesday to to anoint her and to pray for her. But again, I. I say our God is greater our God is stronger he is higher than any power and tonight we are going to unite our faith your faith with my faith can only work a miracle and we have got nothing to lose but so much to gain I just want to um, encourage you tonight yesterday um, I was, um, I had the honor to minister at our church and we are, the topic of the month is daring faith. Now we have got a pattern in our church that every month there is a topic and that is to equip people spiritually. That is why the topics are there. And then at uh, Sunday nights, we have got our miracle services. So I've been speaking about daring faith and I'm telling you, it is easier said than done, I said yesterday. So what I want to leave with you is, I'm just translating it quickly from Afrikaans to English, is what faith is not. If you are on this call tonight with, oh, well, I, I hope um, everything is going to be all right. I wish that everything is going to be all right. Then everything will never be all right because faith is not I hope. Faith is not I wish, but faith is I trust where I can not see. Faith is not based on your feelings. Oh, but I don't feel like praying tonight. Listen, if I don't feel like praying, then I, on purpose, I spite the devil and I start praying, even if I sp just pray in tongues. But if um, the enemy would say, oh, but you're so tired. Why don't you just take a break? And uh, you know, you don't feel like praying. You don't feel like going on the call tonight. He's a liar. Then my faith rise up. And uh, because our faith is not based on our feelings, how we feel. Our faith is based on what we believe. Faith is in spite of what is going on around me, even if there's zero in my bank account and up APSA also keeps my 50 rand and say that I've got insufficient funds. Faith is in spite of what is going 
on around me and with me um in as i said in my bank account in my body um god's word is spoken and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him so i want to encourage you tonight in spite of what you see i have faith in god because our god is a great god daring faith daring faith needs you to step out of your little rocking boat or your rocking chair get out of your comfort zone and start getting serious with God and start live his word. I cannot emphasize it enough. They say this is not going to work. They say this one is not going to be healed. They say our businesses will never grow. God's word says we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We are moving forward. We are not moving backwards. God's word says by his stripes, so we are healed. Hello, Pastor Manashe, all the way from Kenya. We're so happy to see you, my brother. Um, I'm speaking about faith, and I want to challenge you tonight to exercise daring faith, that reckless faith that, that you will think, no matter what, come what may, what may I'm going to trust God until the breakthrough comes in Jesus' name. Hebrews 11 verse 6, very well known, it says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you want to make God's heart happy, if you want to make God's heart smile, have faith, have faith in God. Because Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, with faith, you can storm a troop and scale a wall. Um, if you have got faith, you can go further than, than someone that's just sitting and hoping and wishing. We are not in the hoping. We are not in the wishing business. We are in God's business and God's word says, trust me, trust me, even though you cannot see the outcome. Yesterday morning, I said, uh, sometimes there's a problem with our vision because when we pray, I'm taking too much time now because when we pray, we look at things from our perspective, but start seeing things from God's perspective and let faith arise in your soul like never, ever before. Yes, you can do it. Brother Shokat, welcome back. We've missed you last week. So would you just open your mic and just lead us in prayer? I mean, good evening, everybody. Greetings in Jesus' name. I um, <clears throat> completely, completely agree with what Pastor Emmy said. Um, and, and I just quickly want to say this. <clears throat> the enemy is trying to discourage us that you give up at this vital last part of the race just before your breakthrough. And I am going to say this to you, that you are standing in front of your breakthrough. Now is not the time to give up. Now is not the time to listen to everybody else that's saying around you that's doubting that God's word won't come to pass. If God's word didn't come to pass for the promise that he gave Abraham and Sarah, it would have been a different story. But his word came to pass for Abraham and Sarah when his word says, <clears throat> is there anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you. And, and according to that time of life, <clears throat> you will give birth. There are seeds God has planted in the time in your life, promises for breakthrough financially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, in your family, whatever it is, God has given you a promise. Now is not the time. If you have people around you that's causing you to doubt God, guess what? <clears throat> the people on this call will stand and hook you in and lift you up <clears throat> so that you can break through and break into what God has got for you. So Heavenly Father, tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, we commit this time to you and we thank you. We bless the name of Jesus for every promise that you've given us, for your word that must come to pass. And so Father, everybody <clears throat> that is feeling a bit doubting at this stage, <clears throat> Sarah was at a point where she was already past the age of giving birth. The situation and circumstances was already past 
the time humanly humanly possible but there was a word and a promise that was given and so tonight father every single one on this call <clears throat> each of us have a promise and a word from you and we take hold of that this night and we say to that is there anything too hard for the lord now is the appointed time. Now is the set time for your promises to come into fulfillment. Now is the appointed time for your promises to be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for every breakthrough. I pray for every person on this call and those that are connected to, to this call, that they would not <clears throat> give up at this time. I pray for such encouragement and I, I pray for such uh, an, an, an amazing sense of your presence to lift them up, to elevate them, to escalate them, push them forward. We lift them up as the Joel 2 army hooks each other up. And if the one falls, they we pick each other up and we move on forward. And so, Father, we move on forward to towards the breakthrough. We move on forward towards the victory. And I declare victory over every person on this call, over every circumstance, over every situation. Physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, oh, there is, uh, there is, there is, there is a breakthrough. There is, there is a turning around of circumstances because your word says so. And even though it seemed as if the answer should have come long time ago, even though Sarah's womb may have seemed to have been shut, but there was a promise that was put into the womb. And so there are promises put into every single one of ours, our spirits. And those promises must come to pass. So I cut off the spirit of doubt and, and, and every bit of anxiousness. And, and Father, I speak victory. I speak peace into the very atmosphere. I thank you, Father, that your servants, your children on this call and those connected to this call will step into complete victory. Now's not the time to give up. This is your call for encouragement. Lift up your heads, O he gates, and be he lifted up the everlasting doors that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? He is the Lord strong and mighty. He is the Lord mighty in battle that is on your side, on your behalf. <clears throat> and so, Father, every financial situation, every person that needs a financial breakthrough, I commit that to you. Your word says that you will open up the floodgates of heaven and pour out on us a blessing that we will have no room enough to contain it. We hold on to that promise of Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 14, that we are blessed in the city, that we are blessed in the field, that our baskets are blessed. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that, that every, every hindering spirit that wants to cause doubt to come, those around you like they did with Job to cause him to want him to doubt the promises of God and in his sin I pray that you would bless me and, and and cause me to increase and so I pray for this for that you would be blessed and that you would increase and expand in the mighty name of Jesus that the walls that the enemy has put around you are not strong enough to hold back the presence and the expansion of the what God is going to do in your life even this very hour and this very moment I pray for healing in the mighty name of Jesus those that are calling forth for healing, those that are asking for financial breakthrough, we pray right now in Jesus' mighty name that you will that your that your faith would not wither, that you would not shrink back, but you would lift up your eyes and take a hold of that word. Is there anything too hard for the Lord that He will do for you even in this hour? And I pray that you'd cover you under his precious blood. I speak victory and overcoming power over you in the mighty name of, Je of Jesus. And I thank you for the finances that are coming. Finances that are going to hit you from the left. And, and, and here's the thing that I had to realize today. It is not in the person and the contract that I'm needing it to come through. But my source, my very provision, it comes from the Lord. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is there any door that will not go open for the King of glory? Is there any wall that cannot be shattered and broken for this mighty Jehovah? Is there any impossible situation that God can make possible on your behalf? Now is the time. Now is the, it's the best time now not to give up. And so I encourage you with this prayer tonight. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. He is able to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Father be every bit of glory and power and majesty in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say amen and amen. Amen and amen, Pastor Etienne. Uh, we've got seven minutes left. If you can just pray for us, please, and thank you. 
I will encourage you quickly with something. It's time that the children of God start praising and worshiping God out of their circumstances. I want to say it again. It's time that the children of God starts worshiping and praising God out of their circumstances. You might say, I don't feel like praising God. I don't feel like worshiping because my circumstances and my mountains are so big. But there's something that happens when you start worshiping and praising God out of your circumstances. It's, it's when things in the realm of the spirit starts changing. And before I pray tonight, I want to just share the scripture. And this is for someone tonight. Isaiah 43. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who have created you. O Israel, the one who has formed you says, do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you go through the deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers of difficulty, you will, be not, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. And so, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus... Lord, we thank you first of all, Lord, for the price you paid on Calvary. For our ransom, Lord, you set us free, Lord. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. And Lord, because we are sons and daughters of the Most High God, Lord, we can come to you knowing that you are a loving Heavenly Father, Lord, and that you answer prayer. And Lord, tonight we come boldly into your presence, Lord. And Lord, there's such a presence on this call tonight. I sense your presence, Lord. And so, Lord, I pray for everyone on this call tonight that is sick on body. And if you are sick in body tonight, I want you to lay your hands on that part of your body. And as we come in agreement for your healing, start activating your faith. Start doing what you couldn't do before. And you'll see the presence of God that will touch your body. You'll be able to do what you couldn't do before. And so now, Father, as we come in agreement lord in the mighty name of jesus lord we pray for that spirit of that foul spirit of depression tonight lord in the mighty name of jesus we rebuke that spirit of depression we command it to let loose and let go in the mighty name of jesus lord let the peace that surpasses all understanding flood the, that soul Flood that heart, flood the flood that mind now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for Ingrid tonight. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, be made whole. Be set free from that, the, that sickness tonight. Be made set free from that pain in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for that spirit of insomnia tonight. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we rebuke it. Lord, we pray for that person, Lord, that as she goes to bed tonight, she will have a well-deserved rest, sleep without medication, because the God that we serve is bigger than anything, Lord. Lord, I pray tonight, Lord, for, for Pastor Manasseh tonight, Lord. Lord, I pray for a fresh unction of the Holy Ghost upon his life. Lord, I pray for a fresh outpouring of your spirit upon his life. Lord, that when he preaches the word, Lord, that the, the, the Lord, that sinners will come to repentance. Lord, I pray for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Lord, that as he opens his mouth, Lord, that people will feel and experience and will have encounters with you like never before. Lord, I pray for revival upon every minister of the gospel. Lord, be it a pastor, be it evangelist. Lord, be just ordinary people. Lord, I pray that revival fires will start to start to burn upon your people. Lord, we are living in the last days. Lord, we are crying out. Your word says, Lord, blessed is he that hungers and thirsts after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Lord, we are hungry. Lord, we are thirsty. Lord, here's our cup, Lord. Fill it again, Lord. Lord, we don't want to live in our past experiences. Lord, we don't want to live on what happened yesterday. But Lord, we want to be filled afresh tonight, Lord. And so, Lord, I come in agreement with every prayer that 
that's been prayed tonight. Lord, and we say yes, we say amen. Lord, we say yes to your purpose. We say yes to your destiny. We say yes to your calling. Lord, we say yes to whatever you want to do in our lives. We surrender tonight. Lord, we ask tonight, Lord, that you'll forgive us. Lord, I pray, Lord, that each one on this call tonight will, uh, will take stock of their hearts tonight. Lord, if there's unforgiveness, Lord, if there's uh, uh, things in our heart that is not where it's supposed to be, Lord, we ask that you forgive us. Lord, we ask that you cleanse us, Lord. And Lord, that we will give you all the praise and all the honor for the miracles that's going to take place. We say yes, and we say amen to that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Lord, we thank you for each and everyone on this prayer call. I want to speak a blessing over each and everyone. And I want to declare that you, Lord, are uh, uh, the God. Um, in Afrikaans, we say, the Heere blei the Heere. You never change. And I thank you, Lord, that you stir up faith in our hearts to just know with God, all things are possible. And I speak a blessing over each and everyone in this week. You know all the prayer requests. As I'm laying my hands on this, I declare this week God is going to do it. This week God is going to do it. And we trust that we will come back with awesome testimonies to the glory and the honor of your wonderful name, Lord. Help us to get our, our vision right. Help Help us to get our focus right, Lord, that we will focus on you because we serve a miracle working God and nothing is too hard for God to do. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you are about to do. Thank you for changing the atmosphere around us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for supernatural breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and I speak life. I speak life over every circumstance in the name of Jesus. All doubt, all fear, all worries, all anxiety, go in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that you will provide. Jehovah Jireh, our God is 